I recently sent off three rolls of black and white film to be developed and it suddenly hit me how expensive film photography's got. When you take everything into account, so the price of film, developing and scanning, three rolls of film cost me around £60, which I worked out was around £1.20 per photo, which is just crazy. So I decided to pack up my trusty Fujifilm X-T4, pop in a Ilford HP5 400 film simulation and head out on the Royal Enfield to see whether I can capture that film look and feel but digitally without the post processing and without the hefty price tag. So although I knew I wanted to take some photos, I didn't really know where I wanted to go. So I just headed out into the Peak District to find some nice country roads and see where I ended up. Although the Peak District is full of stunning locations, finding somewhere that hasn't got a load of tourists is often quite difficult. In an attempt to try and avoid these tourists, I often avoid some of the busier areas and find myself just pulling up by the side of the road and enjoying the natural landscape that the Peak District offers. With the first few shots of the day done, I decided to move on and see what else I could find. Riding through the peaks never disappoints. I mean, just look at those views. Although the single track road that I was following was quite steep, I couldn't help myself but stop and take some photos once it opened up a little bit. By this point I'd been out for a few hours and I'd been quite lucky with the weather, although as you can see it did start to take a turn for the worse. As the weather was getting slightly worse and it was just after lunchtime, I decided about round about now was a good time to try and find some shelter and have a spot of lunch.
After my last pit stop, the weather started to brighten up, so I decided to take the chance and head home before it started raining again. Looking back at these photos now, I think overall I'm quite pleased with them. I think the film simulation comes close, but I don't think they quite look and feel the same as an actual film photo. I still think I'll be taking my film camera out with me from time to time. However, if I'm looking to save some money, I may go out and use this film simulation again.